Our stick and chill is back. This week we're covering John Wick 2. And we're also going to talk about Nip Tuck, something that's going to be really good for you guys to watch on your fire sticks and stream the whole weekend. It's wild. Let's get into it. YouTube. It's the all-knowing, all-loving, all-feeling, all-seeing, all-powerful, just damn all-everything. Sexy as hell, host of the Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. Bringing you guys streaming media Monday through Wednesday. Thursday, we fire, stick, and chill, but we're doing it on Friday today. Saturdays and Sundays is fitness. It's whatever I can do to help you guys make money, save money, avoid rip-offs, and make them ultimate life gains. Today we're covering Nip Tuck and John Wick. We're going to start with Nip Tuck. We'll take a look at these clips to give you guys some context to make that informed decision about watching this and try to save you some time. Check it out and we'll come right back with the commentary. Tell me what you don't like about yourself. My eyes. My ass. Everything. Are you a doctor? Bless you, sir. Do you seduce women? It's not a charm. Botox here, size bigger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Nip Tuck is a show about two Miami plastic surgeons. One is a playboy, the other one is a family man, and it involves a whole lot of drama. And it spans about six seasons. This was the flagship show for FX way back in 2003. And I can remember being in college watching this thing, and everybody and their mama wanted to watch it because it pushed the boundaries of sex, drugs, romance, all kinds of crazy stuff. One of the better seasons of this show was when these two guys got into a little bit of illegal activity with some drug cartels, and the cartels was in essence forcing them to take their hot women and do plastic surgery on their boobs, and inside those boobs they were shipping drugs in them, ladies and gentlemen. And they had to escape out of that conflict through some very unscrupulous practices and that's just six seasons in six episodes in one season this happened. Then you go on and get a little deeper into the story. The one doctor on the show that is the family man steps out, has a little bit of an affair with a woman, and then the son of that guy winds up having sex with that woman later on. I mean, it is drama filled. IMDB gives a 7.7 .7 out of 10. I'll give it a little higher than that. I'll say it's an eight. It will keep you on the edge of your seat. It is a thrill ride from season one all the way to the last season. People have parties over this one. So if you want to save some time and you haven't seen a great series and that's what you want to do this weekend, make Nip Tuck that choice. You will have lots of fun. Now let's get into our movie choice of the week. John Wick 2, ladies and gentlemen. IMDB is giving it an 8.3 out of 10. I saw it. I want all that impressed. I'll let you guys see a little bit of the story, history, and the context, and we'll come back with the commentary. You have no idea what's coming. Give me a gun. Whoever comes, I'll kill them all. John Wick. You're not very good at retiring.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't see John Wick 1, basically the story is covering Keanu Reeves' character. He's a hired hitman who had retired, and he's forced back into being a hitman again based on the blood oath he took with this underground body that commits assassinations. And this time, he gets involved with a dirty dude who, in essence, wants him to kill his sister. He goes through and does it. And then after that, dude gets mad and tries to kill John Wick and sends assassins after John Wick. Now, why do I say I wasn't all that thrilled? Because if you're someone who likes story plot, if you're someone who likes context in the story, a profound story, you're not going to be happy with this movie. But if you like some of the most awesome killing scenes you could ever see, and it seems like every 30 seconds this man is killing somebody, it looks like he puts people's arm in a Frankenstein and flips them over and shoots them in the head every 30 seconds, then this is going to be your movie. I like a little bit of context with my movie. And like I said, it has a little bit of range, but just wasn't enough for me. So IMDb is giving an 8.3 at the movie theater. I'm going to give it a 6.5. You can spend your money on 3 if you want to, or you can just wait and do a fire stick and chill with this movie. Let me save you that money. Just wait. That's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being patient with me. I didn't get a chance to do it last week. For those of you that are following this part of the um, Life Games channel, very, very thankful for what you're doing. I'm going to be up to date next week. We're going to cover Get Out next week. Oh, boy. That looks to be a scary movie. So... Thank you again. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Stay home and fire stick and chill this weekend. Always check my viewer description box. Check out my past videos. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.